Hey YouTube, it's new one one here coming to you with a tutorial regarding buildup and prevention of buildup and removal of buildup. So today what I'm going to be doing is washing my locks because they're due for a wash. I haven't washed them in about a week. I make sure to wash my locks every single week and then once a month, which is about every four washes, I uh, do a clarifying routine which removes any possible buildup that could be in my locks from styling. The reason why styling will cause you buildup is because some products cause, uh, some products are heavy and they kind of get inside your lock and stay in there and they're non-water soluble so they're hard to get out and so you need to use something that kind of strips that and removes it from your lock. Some of those things would be wax, shea butter, and some types of gel. Also, it's possible for dirt to get inside of your locks to get deep in there and to congeal and to make it difficult. And it kind of like mixes with any of that product buildup and becomes hard to remove. Another reason why you might have buildup inside of your locks um, could be because of lint, which or you know, which could be from um, dust or um, you know, from woolen clothing or from um, animal hair. So you just really want to avoid buildup because uh, what buildup can do is cause mildew inside of your locks. Because mildew is um, bacteria that's gotten into your locks um, because there's a wet environment inside of it. Mildew can only grow in a wet environment and it's easier for the inside of your lock to stay wet for too long if you have buildup inside of your locks. Um, The reason that you don't want to clarify too frequently is because the things that clarify your locks, I've seen people use Listerine, vodka, um, I use vinegar, apple cider vinegar, um, baking soda, um, clarifying shampoos. These things strip the oil and moisture from your hair and you don't want to do it too frequently. You don't want to do it too infrequently. It's a good balance. And as a balance, it's something that you need to counteract. So once you have stripped all the bacteria out of your locks, taken out all the product buildup, what you're going to want to do after that is to moisturize your locks again um, with some, um, with some, with a creamy type of moisturizer, maybe a deep conditioner, and some essential oils to seal it all in. I know I might get criticized for this, but I'm using regular vinegar because there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever with using it. It just smells, you know, it just smells bad. Vinegar and baking soda. And then uh, today will be Trader Joe's uh, Trader Joe's uh, Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo Bar. It's not shampoo, actually. This is a, this is a soap bar, but I find that it works in a very clarifying way.
Hey, I just wanted to show you guys the lather that you get on the first shampoo after doing an apple cider vinegar or vinegar and baking soda rinse. Um, because your hair is clarified, there's no more oils or not as much oils inside of your lock uh, to interfere with the lathering process. You can't really get a good lather on your first wash usually because there's still um, build up inside your hair and sometimes people with locks don't even get um, a real lather going on. They have a hard time getting a lather because the hair has so many oils inside of it, uh, preventing you know the soap from penetrating all the way down into there and for the suds to really build up. It's hard to get a lot of suds um, on any type of hair when there's still a lot of buildup inside on on or inside the hair.